Hey, in our previous video, we created like a latest post section at the bottom of the page. But the obvious problem with it was that when you click a post, you get the very boring kind of standard layout, which might work for some people, but the typography is wrong. Post one, you got the name over there, the date, zero comments, featured image over here. And I'm not overly loving the layout. It's really simple and easy to correct and modify this. And what we're gonna do is create a single post template. All you gotta do is just go over to your website make sure you're in WordPress at this point, go over to Bricks uh, on the left hand side in your WordPress dashboard, click templates and we're going to add in a new one. I'm going to call this a single post to keep it really simple and down here I'm then going to pick single, okay, not married, not cohabiting, just single. I'm going to hit publish and then we're going to hit edit with bricks. This is how quick and easy and simple it is, okay. Um, we now have lots of items over here. Basically, this is like building a page, okay? Section, container, blocks, whatever you wanna do. You can now start to define how the layout will be. The key things we obviously have in our fake post was that we had a featured image, we got text, and then there'll be lots of meta information in the background, like the author name, the title, which we already mentioned, the date it was done, if there are any comments and stuff like that. Well, we have a lot of the icons over here you got social sharing as well. So you get to now decide what is your layout. Are you gonna show the featured image at the top? Are you gonna have the text? Where's the content gonna go? So have a plan and have a scribble down of what you want your layout to look like. First thing I'm gonna do is add in a section and container. I'm going to make my container be a width of 1000. Don't worry about the sizing just yet. I will come back to affect the padding and margin in a moment. I'm gonna go to my section though and give this a background style color. Remember, you could do this with global styles, okay? I don't want to ignore it, but you could apply things here as well. I'm going to give this a background image. We'll go for this one that I've used previously before. Uh, it will be a scroll background, which it kind of defaults already to. We'll have center, center, cover, and no repeat like that. I'm going to go to my container though, and into here, I'm now going to start dropping in some items. So here's where, you know, we can start to pick and choose what we want to go for. I'm going to drop in the post title. Now at the moment, everything has kind of disappeared. And here's where I now do have to apply a bit of padding or margin. So I'm going to go to my section for now, and I'm going to go to my layout, and I'm going to say about 50 here, because at the moment, everything is sat below the header, which can be a bit annoying when you have a sticky header, but I've just moved things out of the way there. Uh, I'm going to give this some padding of about uh, 30 and we'll go with 30 there as well. The container is already a thousand, but the post title, you can't really see it there. So I'm just going to go to my style for that and I'm going to go to typography and I'm going to say make that be white. Now then, this is already bringing through post one. I want to just show you something. If I go to my settings and template settings, I'm going to get rid of the populate content, okay? And I've now just refreshed the page. It's put the word single post, or it might say post title. I want to see post one. So as I'm building it out, I can see the content. I can see the featured image. What you need to do is kind of reverse what I just did. Go over to your settings, go to template settings, go to populate content. Down here, we're going to pick single post page. And then over here, I'm now gonna pick one of my posts. Now I can't see any of them. Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. Don't worry, I'm just gonna type the word post and you know what, we'll go for post one like that and then hit apply preview. Now every item I add on here will be pre-populated with what I've got over there. So we've got post one and if we now just kind of preview that, that is how is that how it is looking. That's okay at the moment. So we're gonna have the title that kind of goes across over there. And obviously you go through the normal drill of your layout. You know, you're gonna add any in individual background to that particular title over there. Are you gonna do the typography? What if I didn't want that image? What if I wanted to actually bring over the featured image instead? So let me now get rid of that, okay? The moment you get rid of it, the dynamic data tag is now, or the symbol is now available. I click that. And I can, if I want, scroll down, or I could just type the word feet, and I get featured image. Because we're bringing over post one, look, let me explain my logic. I didn't do this from the get-go, because I wanted to lead you down a path of, let's add in an image, then we'll add the post title, 
make it relevant by adding in, you know, populating the content. Now we can add the image. And now you could start to modify the size of that section or the container. Now, I'm not going to do that because I want to have a little bit of consistency in how my posts look. But for the example you've got here, you could have done this and you could even have made it be fixed as well. So as you scroll up and down, it kind of overlaps onto it as well. Now, I'm going to undo all of that because I just wanted to show you that so you can, using the dynamic facility that you have in Bricks, populate the background anything you want with any of the images you have got. Oh, sorry, let me let me rephrase that. With the featured image, in tomorrow's video, we will be looking at Loop Builder, okay, uh, with where we can have more bespoke posts, and that's where we can start to bring over other images. Now I'm going to drop in another section and another container. Now, depending on how you want to build it, you could you could do everything all within one section all within one container. Because I'm adding a little bit of variation in the styling and how this looks, I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do, okay? Now, a bit like what we just did with the background section, I could drop an image into here. I could click on the image, and rather than you actually picking an image from your media library, you kick the dynamic data stack tag thing image you hit featured over there, or you type it in, and that will now bring over your featured image. What's so good about that? Well, I can pick it up and move it wherever I want. I could have it on the left, the right, the bottom, the top. I could, you know, make it really tiny. I could give it a rounded border radius, a shadow effect, anything I want. I'm not going to do that, mainly because for my example, the image was already in the actual post, right? So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm now going to pick up post content. There we go. We now get my post content. I'm actually going to go over to my container here, go to layout and make this be a thousand as well. Um, now you might have noticed though, what we haven't really done is checked how this looks on the mobile. You would definitely go through those steps, go and pick your mobile over here, go and type 378 as a starter that I always like to go with, and you would go in and adjust your padding and your margin. Now here is one thing I do want to mention for anyone who's first building posts and they kind of go, oh, I really don't like the size of that image. The problem you've got is that image is full width because that's how you built it in your post. If I go over here to the original post and I go to edit post, okay, your image is like the full width of what you've got there. If you don't like it being that big, what you can do is kind of like resize it. So if I now just squash it in and go, ah, oh, you know what, we'll go with something like that. What I've now added into the post is a spacer. Just type the word spacer and you can now add in spaces. Okay, let's just hit update there. And there we go, we got a slightly more spaced out image. I am going to come back to my container because I've just made a mistake. It doesn't need to be a thousand in width. It's actually only going to be about 800. Uh, just slightly more narrow. Now, if we go back over to our fields, there are other items we could add in. We could add in the excerpt if we want. So for instance, if I was to go back over here, I could go over to where I got my post title and I could drop the excerpt in, which you can now see there. Well, you can't really see it. It's in a slightly, you know, the styling of that is completely off. So let's just put that in white. And what I'm now going to do below the post content, I mean, I could now, if I want, put in the author details if I want, you know, and you can modify this as well. Flexible in what you want to show. So maybe you don't want to show your avatar image. Um, do you want to show your name, for instance, if it was there? Do you want to show a website link if you had it? Do you want to show the bio if you had it? I'm actually going to get rid of this, but there is a lot of flexibility in what you can do. You might want to show social sharing icons like that right at the bottom. Obviously, you're going to style it, right? So you might add in a bit of spacing from your content. You can just click these items and pick from a list over here as well if you want. If we go to style, if I go to uh, typography, this color here is actually the color of the white bit inside of the logo. So let me just clear that and leave that as, no, we're going to leave that as white, for instance. No, no, we're going to make it black. Let me get this right. We're going to make it the black dark color. And then if I go to background color here and I pick the yellow color there, we get that. About 15 there, it will now space the items out. To REM, it will now make them bigger. You will have to adjust the padding size and all of that. Now you will notice that the items are on the left. And if I start to do this text align, it doesn't really do anything. Go to layout, scroll down until you get to flex down here and you click align itself. So this is in the layout and you hit it. 
because you might start messing around with the container and doing your flex, you know, your direction and all of that. You can just really simply just do something like this as well. So what we now have are our icons like that at the bottom. And we have a very, very basic single post template like this. That, I mean, this is just an example I'm giving you, okay? This isn't scientific. However, rather than what you had before, which looked like this, okay? Which, okay, yeah, you could say, yeah, it's not too bad. You've now got something that looks a little bit more like this. There's a little bit more of a style going on with it. And that was pretty simple and easy to do. Because I could go and add in the related post field now below as well. So you know what, we'll, we'll leave that all in the second section. So we're not adding in, you know, like uh, too much spacing or anything like that. Uh, the related post at the moment, we go to content, we go to query. Uh, we're going to show three. You can adjust the query, the layout, kind of similar to what we did in the previous video, but just make sure you go through the settings. This is not showing post one because post one is above us at the moment, which makes kind of logical sense, right? Why would you want to show it? So we can have a really, really unique layout going on here. And you can add in more. You could add in a video as well, which might be nothing to do with the post, but it might be like an advertisement or an affiliate link or a link to your shop or anything like that. That is keeping things really, really simple. However, there is still one more thing we need to do. If we go over to our settings and we go to template settings, the populate content is what we've got at the moment. I am going to just undo all of that, okay? Because I don't want that to be kind of set in stone across the board, right? So in fact, I'm just going to hit the X there and get rid of it. I'm going to go to condition. Where will this be applied? I don't want this to be on the entire website. I don't want it to be on the front page. I'm going to pick post type and then down here, I'm going to pick posts. Okay. It's kind of similar to what you were doing before with the query with the post widget, but it's just now present over here. That is it. And don't forget, please, by the way, you would check this in the mobile. You could have gone over here and had another container to the right hand side, maybe squashed everything up, maybe have like a six, no, a 70 30 split. All of this content is 70% on the left. And on the right hand side, you could have had a sidebar. You could have put like the author details, the bio, some other information like that. So you can make it really, really unique and work for your website. The next video is going to be using a loop builder and we are going to be using some custom fields. So we have a lot more individuality and power over how we make this look. I'm Imran Web Squadron. Catch you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win your life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, with the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that fact, taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bat, put me in the ring.